glowy simple makeup tutorial with a bunch of products that I actually got from Walmart and I've seen a ton of them go viral and I'm partnering up with Walmart on today's video so thank you to them and I love these products they work so well I'm really impressed with my finds not like I found them necessarily because I've seen them like everywhere on the internet but I'm just impressed with how they worked for me so I'm just gonna share a quick little easy tutorial with you guys starting out with the elf power grip primer a very very into this being an oily gal and wanting my makeup to stay all day and not like slide off my face this stuff is so good and all these products are really affordable which is amazing and we love Walmart for that. Okay, next we're gonna start with the base. I've been so obsessed with this base. Actually, I need to go get my beauty blender though. So at our new place, I do my makeup um, out in the kitchen or like, this isn't the kitchen, but the dining table, I guess, or kitchen table, I don't know what to call it. It's not in the kitchen, but dining table sounds too cool. But all the windows right here is really nice for lighting. So that's why I do my makeup now. I used to do my makeup like normally in the bathroom at our old house or Sometimes um, in the bedroom. Anyways, this e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter is so good. I got the shade 2. I feel like I maybe could have done a shade up or a mix two shades is always a vibe in my opinion. To kind of like customize things a little bit more. So I'm just going to kind of put this all over with this applicator. And then I like to mix this. I've seen this stuff all over. The True Match Lumi Glotion. And I got it in medium glow. So this is kind of how we're going to get super glowy skin between these two. So this is kind of like a little bronzy. I feel like I could have done this maybe in a darker shade too. I'm just going to mix both of those together with my hands to warm it up. And I don't know how well you guys can tell, but this is so pretty. It is very like light coverage, light and glowy, which I find perfect for a lot of days or occasions in the summertime. It's not like super um, full coverage or anything though, so flawless. I need to blend it out with the beauty blender. Okay, so then I'm just gonna take a damp sponge, kind of pat it in. Like, do you see that glow? It's perfection. I love that these are affordable. The great base does not stop there. Next viral little product is the e.l.f. Camo Concealer. I got this in shade Light Sand. This is incredible coverage and it blends so easy. I've seen this literally all over my TikTok and let me just tell you, they weren't lying. You don't need a ton of it because it does have really good coverage. I'm actually going to use a brush to blend this out. Just kind of pat it into the skin. It's super easy to blend and also just covers things so nicely. I kind of want to get another shade in this too, like something a little bit lighter for more brightening. This is more of like a good concealer shade for me. But another situation where I would like to mix two colors, like I'll put a brightening one under my eyes and maybe like the forehead and the nose, just kind of like highlight those areas i love that just blends so nicely i'm so grateful it's not too hot today so we're not like dying in our house and then i do like in between steps to do some setting spray just kind of to help everything stay this is the stay all night blue light micro setting mist long lasting wear again oily gal we like anything long lasting because slip off of this oil spill okay when I while I let that kind of set a little bit I'm gonna take this brow glue this is the NYX one and I freaking love this stuff my brows are freshly tinted and laminated and everything so I don't need a ton especially when that starts to like fade a little bit this stuff really just holds everything in place and gives you that like laminated look 
easy peasy. Okay, it's hard to say what my favorite find of these products is, but I feel like it might be this one. This is the Can't Stop Won't Stop Mattifying Powder by NYX, and it's so cute. It has like a little heart in the middle, and I use these little like triangle puffs, and this, I just rub this in there, and then I'm just gonna go in and press this into the skin, and I swear it gives the most like flawless airbrushed poreless finish and also soaks up my oil like this is the side without it this is, the side. is that not amazing i do um like to keep this in my purse now too because i do still get like a little bit oily this hasn't been my the answer to my prayers where i'm not oily throughout the day still but this is a great like system for like powdering during the day i'm seriously obsessed I don't get as oily down here. I mostly get really oily like right in here, the T-zone of course. So that's where I'll kind of focus the most of this product. The nose could use it. My forehead literally is the oiliest zone in the US. The oiliest region of the whole United States. Feels like, just pat that all in. Oh my God, it's so good you guys. I'm seriously obsessed with it. Now this is like truly the base, I would say. And I'm really, really loving it. I've been doing this like every day. Oh, that was like a powdery sip since I tried these products. This has been my go-to base. Okay, next I'm an idiot and I broke this, but it is the ColorCon Bronzer by Wet n Wild and the shade is 740 to get to Brazil. So like mine's everywhere. So chaotic of me. Ooh, it's a mess but I love how soft this bronzer is like it's so subtle and it's a perfect like natural summery shade you do that thing where you like make your palette go back together so I'm just gonna like lightly bronze the cheeks I'm using this it's just like a light natural like bronzer and contour combo got like a tiny bit of shimmer in it too so subtle a little bit on the forehead and then I also like to take a little bit of this on like a fluffy brush and just kind of contour the eyes a little bit just really subtle again do a little bit of this on the nose cute okay but it's not make like as big of a mess as it could have okay next this a viral little bril blah, blah. viral little blush for me to say it's the milani baked powder blush in five shade five luminoso so about opening everything with my nails look how pretty this color is it's like corally very like natural it's perfect pairing with that bronzer they're both like light and natural kind of shimmery sheer like i love that it's so pretty in the summer. It's got some sparkly elements to it too. Just like a little shimmery. Kind of like run that over my eyes too. I love it. it just looks so glowy. I'm going to do a little eyeliner. So this is really hard for me to do on camera. It's hard to do off camera. It's hard to do in general. But this eyeliner is really good. This is the Flash Cat Eye by Infallible L'Oreal Paris. I need to go get like a small mirror. Okay. This eye turned out what I'm in this eye. But this eyeliner is really good and I also really like it for doing the like inner corner situation which is really hard for me to find an eyeliner that i like for that so i'm just gonna on doing that for a second just like a tiny little inner wing cute i love that I find that this like wing and the stiffness of it and everything and the pigmentation that comes off of it 
is works really well for doing that inner corner eye where I find that it's really hard to find. Like some of them are too hard, some of them are too soft, some of them don't like let off enough pigment, some do too much. So really like that one for that. So I'm just gonna let that sit for a second and do my lips while it's sitting before I move on to the lashes. The lips, I'm gonna use this as a liner. It's the Superstay Ink Crayon in shade, hmm, I don't know what shade it is. Oh, here it is, Reach High 100. So these are so soft and so creamy, really, really easy to use. You can honestly use it as a lipstick too. I just like to use them as like a really soft, creamy liner. Nice. All right, if you guys have followed me since the very beginning, like I used these in college and they were my favorite thing and they're one of the first things that i ever started posting about a lot i feel like 100 years ago no probably like seven years ago these are a liquid matte lipstick and i'm using this is like always my go-to combo or my forever go-to combo addiction and embrace okay addiction goes first it's like a very deep pigmented kind of like magenta magenta -y pink it's intense okay well it's part of the process so yeah i feel like that looks pretty intense on me but then the secret is then i go in with embrace i think it's this one yeah which is like a lighter softer like petally pink and the mix of these two is just something special every time i wear this i get questions about it i am like a pink oh my god why did i just do that i'm a pink lipstick girly at heart I always like a more pink shade. Cute. And then I don't like a ton of product on my lips, so I'll just kind of like dab some off. Just something I always do. I don't know. Kind of just like lightens it. Mm -hmm. I love that. Okay, moving on to the lashes. I'm just going to curl these bad boys. Okay, I'm just actually going to curl them. And since I just got them tinted, I feel like they're fine. Just like that. I'm going to spritz with some more of this. Feels good. That one doesn't really make me sneeze. Mm, or does it? No, I don't think it does. All right, guys. I think that's it. So, and then when I go out, I'll always, like, put my lipsticks in my purse. But honestly, these stay like all day. I, I never really even reapply these. Like, I don't really need to take those, but this is coming with me in my purse. 100%. Because I'll get a little oily. We'll just dab it all in. And that's it. So I'll link all of these in the description box for you guys. I'll put the shades in there. And yeah, these are really good makeup finds. So thank you for the internet for illuminating them to me. And hope you guys enjoyed this. Greetings, Earthlings. We have a busy week. We're getting ready for our engagement party this week. And there's just a lot of moving parts. Remind me not to ever throw a giant party again. This is so hard. No, I'm just kidding, but I've never done this before and it is, yeah, it's not my forte, for sure. I'm gonna go get my hair done this week, so I'm gonna bring you guys along for that. We need some fresh hair for this time in my life. I'm also gonna go get my nails done. I loved these little minty green chromey girls, but I need something a little bit more bridal. So I'm gonna go do that. Get my eyebrows done. I am going to glow up, of course, for the engagement party. So yeah, that's what we got going on. My dress for the engagement party is at the tailor right now. I'm getting it a little bit shorter. All those details are coming together. Clayton ordered a bunch of outfits he needs to try on. And yeah, it's just like, it's a big moment in our lives. So that's what we're doing this week.
really heating up in this hot box. But we decided to take back that fan that we had. The Behemo. A big giant fan. So we went to Home Depot and got this little guy, which we had these uh, back at our old house for a couple before we had uh, air conditioning installed. Mm -hmm. We just wheeled this over to Delaney right here where she's getting ready. <laughs> Try to give her a little relief. It's literally so hot in here. Also, we put down our blind pretty early today. So that'll help. I also close these blinds that we have over here. But yeah, we're just living in the heat. I'm gonna do a quick little home improvement thing here. The previous owner kind of made these like shutters out of the screens. We don't really like the look of it. We've always thought it looks kind of like Barney, too rustic. So I'm gonna take off the wood first and see how it looks with just the shutters there. But if that doesn't work, I might just take the uh, complete screen off. But it should be pretty easy to do and hopefully it looks a lot better. Over here we kind of have been using the curtains more. Kind of like this little look with the two curtains there. These curtains are way too long so they drag on the floor so that's why we got them like knotted up. But yeah, so I could do the same thing over on this one. See how that looks. How much better does that look? Oh my gosh. It's like a breath of fresh air over there. It literally lightens it up so much too. That looks so good. I'm surprised that we didn't think of doing that sooner, but that looks so good. And the, the curtains are kind of cute like that when they're tied. Yeah. They're not, it's not right, but. Maybe we should get different curtains. All right, all done with that side. I can't even explain how big of a difference that made. Yeah, we really decluttered the wall, like you were saying. We gotta declutter our shoes, but that's it. Looks good. good job. Easy peasy. Okay. Just finished Pilates. I go to Escape Pilates, if you don't know, if you're curious where I go. It's the best. I love them. Um, I don't make it out here as much as I did before we moved because it was way closer before. But I'm oh my going to turn the camera so hot. I like to go like once a week and it's close to like where I'm getting my hair done. Why are you screaming at me? So I came today because it's hair day. Okay. You guys can't really see. Let's see what we're working with. I'm going to my girl Aubrey, who I love. I've literally gone to Aubrey since, gosh, I don't know, probably like five years. And then I sprinkled some other people in there. I always mention this in my hair vlogs, but I like to experience a lot of hairdressers. I think that they all do great work. It's not like a, I'm just not loyal, I guess. I mean, I am loyal. Like, I like all of them that I've ever used or go back to any of them at any point. I think they just all do a great job, so. I'm going to Aubrey today, who I normally go to. She's been my most stable hairdresser, not because of like their fault or anything, but just, she's just been like the easiest, most, um, like the best option for me for the past five years. But this is probably the last time I'm gonna see her until she goes on maternity leave and has her new baby. So, oh my God, I look crazy right now. So yeah, gonna have to find someone else. And the other girl that I used to go to out here, she's not here anymore. And the guy who I used to go to, Spencer, I adore him. He doesn't do hair anymore. And then there was another guy that I went to who was really good, but he was like pretty far away. So I'm gonna have to figure it out. But we have our engagement party, so we gotta get this freshened up. I don't think I've been since like before Blake and John's wedding, which was at the end of May. So, I don't know, I think it's been like eight or 10 weeks. And when you're a blonde, you have to go to the hairdresser a lot because, you know, unless you want the grown out look, which is fine. But I have blonde dysmorphia. I never think I'm blonde enough, so I want to go to the hairdresser all the time. So yeah, today I'm, I want to be blonder. So it looks pretty blonde right now on camera, but I swear some days I feel straight up brunette. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna figure it out with Aubrey when I get there. And we're gonna get this mop figured out.
Okay, so we just mixed everything up. We have tons of bleach because we're just gonna be blonder. Show you guys some pictures. Like for inspo, look how blonde her hair is, even when it's wet. I'm so into that. What else? Yes. Oh my gosh, I love my hair. It's so good. The color is perfect, like creamy, bright, honey blonde. Just grabbed like a random quick lunch afterwards. It's literally 4.15, such a random time for lunch. Hair salon days are just always so weird because I'm there for like hours on end and I don't really like to eat there i mean sometimes i do if i time it perfectly for when i'm under the dryer but it can be a little hard so i just picked up my favorite like tofu dish over in the area tofu and rice i love my hair we trimmed it i decided that like longer hair seems more fitting for a wedding to me so I don't want to chop my hair for a while and grow it out. So we just did a trim, got the dead ends off, shorter on the bangs. because My bangs were like really long, just did like a little curtain bang, got some layers going on. And yeah, then just did like the very nice, bright, light, warm toned, honey, blonde situation. Aubrey does such a good job. So I love this. I won't see her for a while since so she's going to have her baby, but it's turned out so good. It's perfect for the engagement party. I feel so happy with it, so. Mm -mm -mm. Happy dance. Okay, I won't like make, make you guys watch me tofu now, so. Mm, so good. All right, and now, Right, my makeup is like completely off of my face, obviously, um, from the hair salon. <laughs> That's what happens. I tried to like make it so that it would stay on. I tried to use like a gripping primer and an all day setting spray, but it didn't work. So here I am looking like this. Anyways, I am going to run a couple of errands while I'm over here. So I just picked up a prescription at the old pharmacy that we used to go to. Because we went to the dermatologist this week and I have, I forget what it's called, like perial dermatitis or something like that. It's like these little bumps around your mouth that can be on your eyes and your nose as well. Very common and mine is not very bad, but it just kind of like sprung up over the past maybe like two months. I just also spit everywhere. That was sick. Anyways, and it just kind of bothered me. So I wanted to ask my derm about it and she recommended like this cream. Um, I also switched my toothpaste because Juge actually told me she used to have this too. And she said that is like um, a common way to fix it kind of like from the root. So I tried that. Um, I'll probably hold out on using the cream for a little while to see if the toothpaste fixes it because I only changed that like a week ago. But yeah, so ran that errand and then I'm going to our old P.O. box right now to pick up 
packages, which this is something that Clayton would normally do. Um, he takes very good care of me in this way, and I am so grateful for him. He does all this kind of stuff, but like I'm here and it makes sense to go. So now I'm getting my independent queen energy on. I get the load of packages myself. Strawberry lemon poppy. It's so good. Though. Thank you. <laughs> Just leaving the gym. Taking Delaney to her brow appointment. Getting your brows did. Brow time. Just getting all the things did here. Fresh blonde and brows. It's gonna be a little tense. For the party. Cause we get them tinted and they look like a little crazy at first. So. But I love it. They look good. We're in a pretty good flow here. We're in a good routine. We've been home for three to four weeks. Really settled into a nice routine with the gym and everything, I feel mm -hmm. like. Yeah, we it feels have. good. I've been lifting with my friend Caitlin. I love her, she's such a sweetie. And it's really nice having a gym buddy. I haven't had a gym buddy since like high school, maybe college. Maybe college, but I don't know. I don't know if I you did in college. in college. I think it was more like high school. It's good for you, I feel like. It's fun. Cause it, I feel like it keeps you more focused. Yeah, it's just like fun. It's like, I just like that like collaborative and like community aspect. That's why I like going to classes too. It's yeah. like you're just vibing with everyone's energy and you're like, com um, no, you're achieving something together. It feels yeah. better than like alone to me. Right. I like it. Well, that's nice. It's good for you. It's been fun. I'm gonna miss her because we're gonna be gone for a little while. Yep. Yep, we got the party coming up. And then we're gonna go venue hunting, and then I'm gonna go dress shop. I like my schedule's a little, schedule's gonna a little, get a little crazy. Get a little haywire. I'm like, I'm gonna miss my, my gym buddy. I'm I trying was to, oh. telling her, I was journaling about her today. Oh. I was like, I'm so grateful I have a gym buddy. I love my gym buddy. I'm like, I now have to leave my gym buddy. <laughs> I gym buddy. I'm gonna try to stay in a workout routine on the trip. Yeah, no, I, I want to work where, out, but it's not going to go. be, like, this, yeah, like... this routine we've been yeah. going through. Like, I still want to move my body on the trip, but it's not going to be, like, yeah. The These things. Yeah. That are... And this, like, schedule in this place, and... Now so comfortable. Yeah. Yeah. But then we'll get back, we'll do it again, but then we'll leave. Even just, like, a little YouTube workout, or, like, Sculpt Society or something, just, like... You know, they can be like quick and at home. Then maybe you can go to the gym like at my mom's. Oh yeah. Like you could just use that. Yeah. Maybe. Or maybe we could just see if they'll let us like day pass there if we want to do lifts. Day pass at her. Yeah, yeah. No, I think we can just use it. It's like a code or something. Oh, at her, uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. At her like neighborhood oh, gym, yeah. you know? That's perfect. Yeah. Uh, well, good, good. We're gonna okay. stay on it. Um, <clears> T-Law's <throat> here. How are you feeling about the party? You know, I'm a little nervous. It's going to be hot as hell. It's going to be hot. It's causing a little bit of stress here. But like, that's just the one thing you can't control and it's better than if it was raining. It definitely doesn't look like it's going to rain. It's not going to rain, so that's good. It's hot. And we didn't quite think about it being hot. Yeah, I, I mean, it's I also like, like, it's like at night. It's like, <laughs> it's in the summer, like, I don't know. It just, it is what it is. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't quite think about that. And but the it's one thing I, fine. The one thing I worried about was with weather was just rain. I didn't think, oh, it could be too hot. Right, or like wind would be worse. Like, it's, it's fine. That's so you're going to go right at the airport road, you know? Okay. Like, where we used to go. To yeah. Go yeah, okay, you're going to, I don't know where that's so going. Yeah, just go right there and then we'll 
I don't know where you thought you were going. I don't know where I thought it was. It's like right across the street from the, like where the private planes land. Oh. You know? Oh, okay. Again, party planning, so many things that go into it. Oh, it's so still So many going. things that you don't think about. We're like every day we're still picking out glasses, ice. I tried to pick out ice yesterday for spritz, figure out where to get ice. And then I was like, if you want the ice to be like, look cuter, which we kind of do. Well, we don't really want to just do store crushed ice, you yeah. know, in the Aperol like, spritz. We think it should be like something a little bit more like elevated. That. Aesthetic is king in our house, always and forever, so. Yeah. Here, here it is striking again. King, king aesthetic takes no mercy. Yeah, so. Planning, planning, planning. It's a lot. I have a lot of respect gonna... for party planners and anyone that plans parties, yeah. like, yeah. or just like throws events. Like, it's freaking hard. It's yeah. a lot of moving parts and it's stressful. Yeah. They're gonna get, really gonna come down to the wire a little bit here, I think. But we're really excited. Like, I'm so excited to see everyone, and like, I'm just so excited to like be with my grandparents in their backyard. Yeah. Like, it's gonna look so pretty. I can't it's... wait for them to see what this. I feel like it's going to be like a lot more than what they're probably thinking. Yeah. So I think that'll be really cool for them. Yeah. And it's going to look so pretty through sunset and everything. So yep. that'll be fun. Yep. Well, let's go get your brows done. Let's do it, King. Okay, we're back home now and I got my brows done. So like I said, they're, they're a little intense right after. Cause I dye them and I do love a bold brow. I don't mind, like I like the contrast of like blonde hair with a really dark brow, but this is extreme right now. Cause that's how it has to be like, we just put the dye on and then I don't get my face wet for like 24 to 48 hours um, for the lamination to fully process and everything. So yeah, this is gonna calm down a bit, but honestly, I kind of always have fun when it's like this too. I like it. Next up. I'm going to get my nails done. I love these little minty green gals, but it's time for something bridal, which means they're not going to be that fun, probably. Like, I haven't been able to do a really out there nail for a while because we had Blake and John's wedding, then we had Liv and Kale's wedding. Um, this was kind of my time to do a crazy one. I should have, but minty green was as crazy as it got. And now it's going to be engagement party and then like trying on wedding dresses i kind of want it to be like chill too i'm just I'm trapped in a bridal cycle right now with the nails but it's okay i, I don't mind it all right so we are getting our engagement party outfits ready too mine i have my outfit picked out it's at the seamstress right now to get a little bit shortened clayton ordered some suits i think i mentioned that earlier in this vlog maybe all right so i ordered three suits You've also like wanted a linen suit for a long time. I know, I could have used like, one. Like you get so much use out of your black suit, we realized. Yeah. That, like a suit is a good investment for you. Oh, uh, Jenna Lyons. Who? Oh, uh, the new housewife? Yeah. I actually don't think Jenna Lyons works anymore, but yeah. you guys watch the new Little Housewives of New York. If you're a Bravo whore like me. I'm obsessed with Jenna Lyons. She is so cool and so cheap. I feel like she's a real life Carrie Bradshaw, but even better and cooler. I love her. Okay, let's see them. Maybe not the first look. Are these the two? Do we only have two to try? No, uh, three. I got Those two from Todd Snyder and one. These are the three to study. Mm, I kind of feel like the J. Crew one looks like the most. Like, Summer in there? Yeah. Alright, let's just start trying them. I don't know about that shirt. I feel like this, like, Huge pocket. Well, it's gonna be hidden. That should be hidden by the mm, jacket. Yeah. Well, Unless you keep it button the whole time. How hot would that be? This has like a lining in it. It's gonna be hot. That I'm not obsessed Yeah, me either. I feel like you look like a circus. Conductor. I was gonna say I feel like I'm belong out. Yeah, like it's just it actually doesn't like fit right either. I feel like there's so much space right here. Mm. I don't know. Oh wait, top end? On a three, do you go to the top or the middle? You're asking the wrong guy. I think it's... I don't think that's it. Yeah, I don't like it. It looks like circusy, like the little guy that's like telling the lion what to do or something. A lion leader or whatever. I need to talk back. What are those called, lion teams? 
This just seemed like a little thick and heavy. I want to see that. That one one's here. different though. Okay. That's okay, I actually like that one better. It's the color of it. It's a little gray. Oh, it's, it's in gray. I think the shirt underneath is definitely wrong. Like, I don't like this thick part on the neck. Like, so I try and just like a button up. Okay, can we take the black socks off there so I make it a loop? Oh uh, yeah, this shirt is maybe throwing. This shirt's off throwing too. for sure, but look at these yeah, tones. This is like greener and this is pinker, which is fun. Like, it's a little bit like it's summery and soft and feminine. It's kind of annoying when people don't make something just like a good staple color. That like, why isn't any of this like? It's hard to get it right. Here. Yeah, we know that from Boyd. Mm -hmm. It is hard. But these are like huge companies. You think I make just like a nice oatmeal color? But this is like oatmeal with like one raspberry in it. <laughs> Literally, who dropped the raspberry? Who dropped the raspberry in the oatmeal, Jenna? That color is better. On, it doesn't look as pink actually. I think it's a little skinny jeanish. I mean, all of them are in fact. What's yeah. in it? Yeah. What do you think? Well, it's kind of weird. I don't know. I don't know. I can't see any either. Oh yeah. The yeah. back is bad. I don't know. I don't. I don't know what you should do. Oh crap! How hot would you be in ninety degree weather? Hot. It is. It is pretty airy though. It's nice. The fabric's a little stretchy. It's got I a little bounce in it. I really don't know. Not sure what to do here. I got it. I mean, I, this shirt is for sure wrong because I just hate seeing yeah. this yellow button and then this gray one and then this gray one. What are you with these pockets? I, I don't know much about suits. Like, I don't know what's right. I don't know. Oh, crap. I also don't like that this has this the drawstring. Like, yeah, because of why is that on the suit? Yeah, I know. Well, they try to make it like a little cash, you know? Just like you're wearing a suit, like. The shirt under it is really throwing me off because it's just like it's buttons. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. All right. Okay, well this is extremely sketchy. I mean, it looks kind of good, but. Here, let's go stand over there. I want to take a picture. Yeah. Yikes. All right, here is the nails, the finished nails. A few days later, I did. Gosh, what did I do? I did one coat of Funny Bunny and two coats of Bubble Bath and then Pearl Chrome on top. So like a milky, really light pink, good like bridal theme that wasn't white because I don't know, engagement party feels a little bit more like I could get away with like a pastel color and like less true bridal colors, but I also feel like this would work even for something like truly bridal if you were more into pink than white. So I love them and then I cut them like quite a bit shorter, which I actually really like. And that's it for this week's vlog. We are currently on our way to Reno for our engagement party. So the next vlogs will be all that type of stuff. I'm going dress shopping while I'm there with um, my mom and my grandma and Clayton's mom and my best friend. So. Yeah, lots of fun things to follow. Stay tuned. Let's go do it. <laughs>